All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use SEMrush to SEO order a website. So whether it's your website or let's say a competitor's website, you can use most of this process to find out what they're doing or what you're doing and what could be improved for SEO reasons. So for the purpose of this website, I'm just going to pull a random one from Google. I've just typed in plumber. I'm going to take the top one and we can go and do a analysis on this one just as an example. So well, the first thing that I usually do is throw it in here and see what SEMrush gives me. So what this will do is it will give you an overview overview of what's currently happening with the website and where it's been before it will give you an estimate of their traffic for as long as SEMrush has data on it and it will also give you the keywords that SEMrush has picked up that they actually rank for and then you can go and see what these keywords are you can see their backlinks etc so I'm just going to set this to Australia because that's what's relevant for this particular website and now what we can do is we can take a look at their backlinks and we can also take a look at their keywords and so those are usually the main ones you're going to be going when you're analyzing either your website or let's say a client website or a competitor however you can also see competitors and things like that here as well i don't find that that particularly useful but in some cases there'll be instances where you need that what we'll do is we'll take a look at the backlinks and the keywords because those are the main ones that you're going to be looking at so this is the backlink analytic section where it gives you all the data on their backlinks and basically it'll list out all the backlinks that SEMrush is able to pick up and what you can see here is you can see that each individual backlink you can also see referring domains which means just the domains of the websites that are actually linking to them and so this allows you to go through pick off all these and, and maybe you know reach out some of these websites and try and get a listing on there for example you can also see outbound domains so that would be ones that they are linking to and we can also see you know competitors things like that what's also useful that i find in the backlink analysis is just their general overview of what it looks like so what i mean by that is their profile for instance the referring authority score by the referring domains kind of gives you an idea of what percentage or what distribution of authority score from the domains that are linking to them they have as well as the follow and no follow distribution these things are quite important because if it's too skewed one way or another you, you could be sending the wrong signals to google which could be triggering you know getting attention that could essentially harm your website so that's something you need to be careful of if it's your website it'll also give you an idea of what other competitors in your space are doing so what looks natural in your particular niche or industry so that will give you some ideas to do with the backlinks now in terms of the keywords what you can do here is you can find out all the keywords that at least SEMrush has picked up that they rank for and this can give you ideas of what you should be targeting as well so in this case they rank for a lot of very specific area keywords and it's probably because they've made all these specific location pages which is a tactic for local seo but if we keep going we can see if they rank for anything that's not a location so i'm going to go by volume because the highest volume is usually going to be like main keywords and we can see what else they rank for and so this can give you an idea of who you're competing against how difficult the keywords are can give you some keyword ideas that you may not have known about before you know ideas to make pages and blogs about and things like that so for instance like how to unblock a toilet's an interesting one that gets a lot of searches emergency plumber plumber sydney what's a plumber salary local plumbers so this will just give you a general idea of the keywords that you should be targeting if you've got a similar business to them let's say it's your competitor if this is let's say a client website or your website it's going to tell you where you rank for a lot of these these keywords and then you know you can have a look to see what you need to do to actually increase the rankings of the important keywords you actually want to rank for so you can go down this list and see that now this brings me to my next point which is position tracking you can set up specific tracking for specific keywords that you want to keep an eye on so you can use SEMrush to do that so for instance if you open the position tracker you can set up a project there and this will tell you where they're ranking this will allow you to keep track this isn't so much an audit but you can set this up and then keep an eye on this if you're working on this website and see where exactly they rank it'll show you the position changes over time etc as you can see here these are all the keywords for one of my websites and where, where it used to rank where it ranks now etc and for what page and so obviously this is good data if you're trying to improve the site uh, over time as you're doing SEO now you've got a general overview of their backlinks and what websites are linking to them as well as the keywords that they rank for what you can now do is you can also go into the site audit section of SEMrush here and you can enter the website in here and set up a site audit in SEMrush will do it so so i'm not going to put this specific website in but i'll show you an example of one of my websites i've already set this up for where it's so much has done a site audit and basically it's going to tell you what's good what isn't so i've got a health
health score of 80% on this one. Uh, it's got some errors it's throwing out, some warnings it's throwing out. You can take a look at the issues. You can see what the issues are, what pages they're on, how to fix them, etc. You can see the pages that they've crawled, so what pages are in here, any statistics and other interesting things that you might need to know. And so you can go through and try and fix all of these issues based on what SAMrush is giving us here. And that will help to ideally, you know, push the website up in the Google search results. So honestly, in terms of site audit, that's really it. Like the majority of time when I do a site audit, I'll usually just throw the website in and I'll take a look at the backlinks, the backlink profile, etc., and the keywords, and then do a manual audit of the actual website as well. But the purpose of this video was to show you what you can use SEMrush for. So this is it. So basically you can do a audit of their backlinks of what keywords they're ranking for, what pages they're ranking for, for those keywords, which is an interesting point. And that gives you that in the keyword research as well. I'll just show you that quickly. Basically you can see, so you can see if they've got wrong pages ranking for specific keywords, you'd know that would be an issue. For example, as you can see there, this is the URL of the page that ranks for that keyword and so on. And so those are the main things that you'll find that you'll be using SEMrush for in terms of audits. You can use that site audit as well. If you have access to Google search console, you can also connect that to SEMrush and pull some of that data in as well as Google analytics. And that can help you with some of those things too. However, that's a little bit more advanced. One other thing you can also do is you can actually take a look at how they compare against the competitors. So you can go competitive research and what you can actually do is you can see the keyword gap or the backlink gap. So if we We'll go back actually and what we'll do is we'll pull out the competitors that SEMrush gave us which you can see competitors here I'm just going to pull out a bunch of them and what we can do is let's take these I'm just going to copy them to a notepad and now we can go into either the keyword gap or the backlink gap I'll show you both and basically what that's going to do is it's going to analyze this website compared to our competitors so we'll paste these in here and then we'll be able to see how we do alongside them. So we'll go compare and we can do the same thing here. We'll just put them in there. And so this one is going to give us the keyword gap. So what it's going to do is it's going to show us what keywords we share with the competitors and where we are compared to them and which ones are missing. So which keywords the competitors have that we don't rank for. And that's obviously a good one that gives you keywords you can go after and try and rank for that you previously didn't. Keywords that you're weak on compared to the competitors, keywords that you're strong on compared to the competitors. So obviously which ones you rank above them and untapped keywords as well. So you can take a look and see some that you can potentially go after that you wouldn't have otherwise. And so this is a pretty good one to analyze what's going on on Google search as compared to the competitors that you're up against. And then the same thing for backlinks here. You can see here that compared to the competitors, who has links on all these websites, and you can see here some like this is our website and then these are the competitors. So they've all got links on this one, but we don't. These two have links on this one and we don't, et cetera, et cetera. And so you can go down here and try and get some of these links that your competitors have. So that's another thing you can do here with, with SEMrush as well to analyze the competitors. If you have any questions about any of this, about how to do an SEO audit in SEMrush, put them in the comments below and I will answer them. Otherwise, if you'd like me to coach you on how to do SEO and Google ads for only $49 a month, go to learndominatemarketing.com. And if you'd like us to get you results with SEO Google ads, go to dominatemarketing.io, book a call with us there. Catch you on the next one.